Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to welcome back Tony Johnson previewing this weekend's railroad show. Tony, how are you today? Doing very well. All very right. Well. So tomorrow we start the railroad show. This is very exciting. How many years have you guys been doing this? It's our 36th year. Wow. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it's become a tradition. Yeah. Uh, really? I mean, it's uh, people, when they come to the show, they say, well, Christmas starts when you go to the show and then they go shopping. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. And for people who are, who are watching, you know, everyone, most people here, at least in the Rogue Valley, know about your awesome railroad park mm -hmm. in Medford. And this is uh, a fundraiser for This that? is the fundraiser. We have one fundraiser a year, and that's here at the Medford Armory. And all the proceeds, after you pay all the bills and so on, mm -hmm. go to the five clubs that operate the park. And that money is solely for to maintain and operate the park because uh, it's a city park, but we receive yeah. no tax money whatsoever. It's all through donations and, and things like the railroad show. So, uh, and it's a special park because it's the only railroad park in the U.S. has five different railroad groups operating it together. So, And, and perhaps uh, most fun for, for parents like myself, we get to bring our kids and our families and everything, and it's entirely free. It's all, all free. We've never charged <laughs> for a train ride and, and hopefully never will. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so tell us, for people who are going to come to the railroad show this weekend, what are they going to see that perhaps that's different from, from the park itself? Well, uh, of course, everything's indoors, and uh, it's mostly model railroad layouts from uh, different clubs all over uh, the area and as far away as Roseburg and Klamath Falls. Uh, plus, we have uh, other exhibitors. Uh, we have some full-size stuff. Uh, our live steamers club, we're going to have four locomotives on display. Uh, of course, one of them is the Thomas locomotive, so the kids can hug it and kiss oh, it. I, and, I know one little them. guy who's going to go crazy for <laughs> so, that yeah. one. Oh, I wish we got a nickel <laughs> for every picture that we took there. But, uh, um, and then there's uh, vendors. There's going to be over 100 tables of vendors selling wow. everything from T-shirts, hats, books, uh, old Lionel kits, uh, you, know, you name it. Uh, mm. So if you, if you have an old Lionel train and you want to know what's it's worth, you know, there's people there that can tell you. And uh, where so the it's, are. yeah, it's, it's, it's really uh, what they used to call a railroad Deanna show. It's just everything all rolled into one. Yeah. Okay. And Saturday and Sunday at the Medford Armory, Correct. what are the hours and, and what is the price? Saturday is from uh, 10 to 5 and Sunday from... Uh, yeah, 10 to 5, mm -hmm. and Sunday from 10 to 4. And uh, the prices are $5 for adults, $4 for seniors, and children 12 and under are free with a paid adult. So it's pretty cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And it goes to wonderful cause. You guys do right, a great job right, there yeah, from yeah. April to October, correct? Right, yeah. The yeah. railroad park is open second and fourth Sundays, April through October. And, yeah. uh, and of course, then we also do parties uh, for mm -hmm. churches and school groups and it, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Down syndrome kids and, and so on. So yeah. Wonderful. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more with Tony in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Tony Johnson previewing the 36th annual railroad show at the Medford Armory this weekend. I can't believe you guys have been doing it that many years. That's pretty I awesome. I started when I was a boy. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so well, what, sort of. So, well, sort of. <laughs> we won't go there. I'll, okay. I'll leave you off the hook on that. But what's different this year? What are you most excited about? Um, uh, well, there's some clubs that haven't been there in a, in a couple of years that are going to be here now and uh, with their different layouts. Uh, there's always new uh, model railroad stuff that's manufactured by companies here in the Rogue Valley, oh. and uh, so they always have stuff on display. Um, I always like the little layouts. We have uh, a father and son just bringing a small 8x8 eight eight foot engage layout, and uh, they're going to show their trains, and that's what's fun yeah. uh, to see that. The Cisco Toy Train Club is going to be back again this year, and they run the old Lionel and American Flyer trains and stuff, and I go for that because... That's what I remember when I was a kid. Sure, and, yeah. and I know uh, I know I'm going to bring my little guy, and he's mm -hmm. uh, he's going to go absolutely crazy, especially for Thomas, as you oh, talked yeah. about. Yeah. But this is for more than just for kids. This is obviously for enthusiasts it's, and hobbyists, and yeah, you name it. There's yeah, something yeah. for everybody. Yeah, it's like the railroad park. It's it's not just for train nuts. It's just for everybody, and yeah. and uh, it's nice to see families come out there. And uh, in fact, I think last year, probably about a third of the people were senior citizens, which was. Kind yeah. of nice, yeah. Sure, absolutely. Okay, and uh, and again, so it's it's tomorrow and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And what are the hours again at the Armory? Okay, on uh, Saturday it's from ten to five, and on Sunday it's from ten to four. Very good, Tony. Yeah. Great to see you again. Okay, thank you. Good for luck out me. there, number thirty-six. Very excited. We'll see you at the park. You will. Okay. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.